My name is Emma Rhodes. I just graduated from Brookwood High School and I exist to honor God and help others by pursuing perspective. Students spend every day trying to figure out who they are. That's just like the big thing, you know, like who am I gonna be? Like, you know, self-discovery. They wanna be something. That's just the every day you wanna wake up and I wanna, I wanna make my mark on this world. But to do it in a certain way, you have to know who you are at your core and what you're passionate about and what you're gonna do differently. And to have unique in this whole experience to help you name that in such a special way is really impactful. It's a way to help you rephrase your life and drive you and name certain things like your calling, like your passions and put meaning behind it because it's been there all along and you're not telling someone anything new, but you're just organizing yourself to be a better person and follow God well. Those two words, pursuing perspective, really encapsulates who I am. Pursuing, I chose that word because I'm really excited and eager and I want to know things. And then perspective, so for me personally, I just, and a part of my name, like Emma means like whole, I just have this drive to be whole or see the whole thing. I love seeing from God's perspective. I want to see the whole picture of things. Just this drive to be whole and to help others be whole as well. I'm like the kind of counselor of my friends. They always come, although I don't really have a lot of experience in things, they come to me anyways because I can just see the whole picture when they can't. And so unique. It's an easy tool just to pull out and just remind myself, you know, like I am gifted in these things. No, like I am passionate about, I am passionate about these things, you know, when you kind of doubt yourself. And it's just a good reminder to have, you know, that you're not you're not completely lost ever and it's an easy way to get back on track when you find yourself going another direction.